Local law firm announcing plans today to file a legal complaint against Valley Convalescent Hospital. That suit alleges elder abuse and neglected tied to the death of an 80-year-old man shortly after he fell out of the bed at the facility. Eyewitness News reporter Kyle Harvey today spoke with the plaintiffs and the defendant. Kyle. Rochelle, a company spokesperson told me today that falls are frequent events in long-term care facilities because of medical conditions present in their elderly residents. But the plaintiffs in this case say this is far from an unfortunate accident, but part of a pattern of neglect. Today, the family of the late Robert Hopkins gathered at the office of Chain Cone Styles to announce a complaint, the precursor to a lawsuit, that they're filing against Valley Convalescent Hospital, which they blame for the death of their loved one. What this family is trying to accomplish by filing this lawsuit today is really to improve care uh, in this community for elders, for our parents, for our grandparents. Robert Hopkins was a Bakersfield High School graduate, a Korean War veteran who would have a career in banking. But in his last years, he suffered from a series of strokes and diabetes. Doctors had to amputate part of his right leg. When Hopkins was admitted to the convalescent hospital, staff noted that he was at risk for developing bed sores as well as falling. Plans were drawn to prevent both. But now his family says he developed severe bed sores and fell nine times. Right away, I noticed that my husband wasn't getting the attention I thought he deserved. They say the last fall cost him his life. They blame it on a nursing assistant who failed to raise the side rail on his bed. And he was uh, diagnosed with the, the vertebra fracture and was eventually um, under the care of hospice, taken back to Valley Convalescent on the 28th and then passed away the next day on the 1st of March 2017. The State Department of Public Health stepped in after the death and issued a $100,000 citation to the hospital, evidence quoted often by attorney Neil Gelawat. As many of you know, the Department of Public Health uh, came in and did an investigation in connection with this incident. But a hospital spokesperson reached today by phone downplayed the state's investigation, noting that the citation has since been rescinded after regulators found the hospital to be in full compliance during a recent return visit. While tragic, the spokesperson said that, quote, falls happen in nursing homes because of the medical conditions present in the population we serve. He declined to discuss the Hopkins case further, saying they've not yet been served with the legal complaint. Now, I've spoken to the state public health department just in the last 10 minutes. They tell us that the hospital is in compliance now, but the $100,000 citation has not yet been lifted. Live in studio, Kyle Harvey, Eyewitness News.